Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about your person, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about you and what are their intentions towards you for the near future? All right, Pisces, let's get into this. Spirits, angels, guides, messages for Pisces, please. Who or what is coming towards Pisces? Who or what is coming towards Pisces in love? Okay, so I wanted to pick another one. Okay, so we have difficult decision and balancing act. So this is um, someone trying to decide what to do. Someone being undecided. Unsure. Maybe they're weighing their options here. I have strong bonds, which is all about family, union, partnership. And so is true love. Also union. So this could be a decision about a partnership here. Um, maybe they're undecided about um, a family situation or a partnership. So let's see what we get with the tarot. Okay, so let's see. Spirit, give me some insight for Pisces. For Pisces. Who or what is coming towards Pisces in love? Page of Swords, Two of Swords. There's that indecision there. Maybe this is someone undecided about what to say. What else for Pisces? Or what is coming towards them? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so there's kind of like a waiting period here or someone trying to decide or unsure of the future of something. Um, they've done a lot of hard work, planted some seeds, but are unsure of the outcome. So we'll see. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords here? King of Cups. Why is the Page of Swords here? Nine of Wands. The Magician, okay. The Star, Aquarius Energy. Okay, so we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. The Star is Aquarius Energy. This is somebody that wants to make something happen with a Magician. They are using all of the tools and resources at their disposal. This communication could be something you've manifested, Pisces, or this person is just trying to make happen. But with the Nine of Wands, I feel like there's some sort of resistance here. That's a, kind of a guarded energy. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. There's the Nine of Wands here. The High Priestess. So, again, um... There's kind of like an unknown, uh, so like a secret, like a mysterious element here, something that someone's unsure of or doesn't know, knowledge they don't have, and it causes them to kind of be guarded, um, wary. Tell me about the magician. Why is the magician here? Three of Cups. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to make this happen. This is somebody that's a doer. Taking some sort of action, making some sort of effort here. This could be somebody wanting to reunite, come together, meet up with you, Pisces. So why the Two of Swords? Why the Two of Swords? Four of Cups, why the Two of Swords? What's this about, Spirit? For Pisces. the devil Capricorn energy I feel like um, this person could have been someone who played with your heart or wasn't loyal in the past maybe this is someone that made some mistakes when it came to your connection maybe they were unfaithful I think that now they now you know they're thinking of rejection so Capricorn energy, but I didn't mention that. They're thinking of being rejected. And I feel like it keeps them a bit stuck. Maybe you don't trust them with the Nine of Wands. Tell me about the devil. Okay. 
Yeah. Can I get one more for the devil? <laughs> Four of swords, worth of pentacles. Yeah, this 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 is making them hold back. I feel like they're they're scared, basically. You probably cut communication or they just scared to approach you because of whatever happened in the past tell me about the seven of pentacles justice libra energy tell me about the seven of pentacles Hmm. I feel like they want to talk. Page of Swords, King of Swords. But they know that, that, that that's not going to guarantee success. They want to talk, but I get the sense that there might be a wall between you. Have you blocked this person? Tell me in the comments, Pisces, if you're not talking to this person. Okay, Four of Wands. You know, in the Justice card, this is about stability. Harmony. Yeah, Five of Pentacles and Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like, and then the Eight of Cups, yeah, I feel like in the past, one of you walked away from the other, um, one of you could have blocked the other, or there's a lot of conflict or drama, maybe arguments between you. This person, I feel, wants to try again or talk to you about this, but they know, they know that there's no guarantee for success here. So let's see, let's get some insight into this person. Spirit, tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with or will be dealing with. What can you tell me about this person? What can you tell me about this person? What can you tell me about this person that Pisces is dealing with? Can you tell me about this person that Pisces is dealing with? Journey number 10. They could be coming uh, to visit you, coming to see you, bottom of the deck, despair. Yeah, um, this person's not really doing so well. They're not doing so hot. <laughs> Can I get one more for this person? Here, give us some insight, please, into this person. They could have left and are kind of regretting it. Unexpected event, that's like my tower card. could be a surprise visit or perhaps um, there was a breakup here that you know they probably had a lot to do with maybe they're having a tower moment in their own life tell me more about this person that Pisces is dealing with or will be dealing with spirit what do we need to know about this person hope dreams longing yeah this person has um Hopes for success, um, bottom of the deck, united cooperation and harmony. It's like they have a hope of having peace and harmony once again, this Four of Wands. Now, I don't think it's going to be so easy. Um, let's see, let's get some insight with the tarot. Tell me more about, there you are Pisces, tell me more about this person. So what do we need to know about this person? Page of Cups. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? The Hermit Virgo energy. Yeah, I feel like this person is um, alone or feels very alone. This could be a Virgo or a water sign. Does not have to be. I feel like they this page of cups it could be an apology. Can I get some insight into this page of cups? I feel like this person um, realizes, yeah, King of Swords and Justice again. This person wants to rebalance the situation, but I feel like while they were alone, they realized this. And maybe it's too late. Tell me about the Hermit. 
Six of Wands. They're picturing success, or maybe they're they were they cared a little bit too much about what others thought here. Chariot, Cancer Energy. There's that journey card. This person could be on like a spiritual journey of some sort. They're picturing or hoping for success here with you for balance um, to have this chance to tell you how they feel. Um, bottom of the deck, the devil and the seven of cups. But I feel like in their mind, this this might not go the way they planned. Um, I feel like they are also kind of like overthinking at the same time. Have the ace of pentacles and the five of cups. Yeah, they want an opportunity, but they know the past is a problem. <laughs> They could even be missing you here. Okay, so let's see. Where is all of this headed? Um, let's see. Where is all of this headed for Pisces spirit? What's next for this connection in the near future? If I could shuffle, that would be great. For Pisces. Where is all of this headed spirit? Where's all of this headed for Pisces? For Pisces. Page of Swords. So this person could be watching you, wanting to communicate. We'll see. I find it very interesting that Page of Swords came out again. What's next? Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Difficulty. Yep. What's next? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Hmm. This person's motivated. I have the Knight of Wands. But I also think this person tends to act first, think later. I think they, they get themselves into trouble. They could be very passionate. They could be very charming. Tell me about the Page of Swords. You could be dealing with a water sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me about the Page of Swords. What's this about? The Empress. Wow, okay. Can I get one more for the Page of Swords? Ace of Pentacles. My God. They're going big. This person's going big. Death. Scorpio energy. It's almost like they're going to tell you I've changed. Um, let's, let's have, um, a new beginning. I know why things ended. I know what happened between us. Um, I know how I feel about you. I want a new beginning. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Exactly. This person recognizes your value now. They see you as an empress. And so they're bringing an offer that they feel an empress deserves. But I, I really do get the sense that some of you are not willing to give this person a second chance. Um, tell me if that's true in the comments. Because I'm picking up that a lot of you are not open to this. And this person knows it. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Justice? Yeah, it's like they want to make things right. They want to fix the problem. Libra energy. Tell me about the Three of Swords. It's a three of swords here. Nine of swords. They're terrified, anxious, guilty, possibly. They think about this a lot. Knight of pentacles. Yeah, they're going to bring you an offer anyway. I feel like this is someone that's going to try anyway. Maybe your connection was really strong. Maybe there's a real strong bond between you. A soulmate connection or or maybe you feel drawn to each other and I think this person knows it um, they're hoping for happiness here yeah here I have the Sun the eight of swords and the six of swords and then after that the two of cups so it's almost like they're they're afraid um, they might be coming to see you here maybe because you make them very happy um, and you know they feel like you have a very strong bond with the Two of Cups. I think Temperance is what they're hoping for. To make this work, to make this balanced again, um, to have harmony again, peace between you. Tell me about Temperance. Five of Wands. 
Tell me about Temperance. Ten of Cups. Tell me about Temperance, please. There's temperance here. Three of Cups. Yeah, this is about them wanting a reunion despite the conflict and drama that surrounds this connection. Ten of Cups, I mean, you are their happy ending. You are what they want. Um, I think this person is very hopeful. Hope, dreams, and longing. Yes, I can see that. Um, I want to know what's with this unexpected event. Why is the unexpected event energy here, Spirit? What's with this unexpected event energy? Can you tell us? Give us some insight. Why is unexpected event here? For Pisces, what is this unexpected event card about? Ten of Pentacles. What's this unexpected event card about? The Fool. Oh my goodness, can I get one more? King of Pentacles, wow. Some of you were dealing with someone that had I feel like some of you are dealing with a person that was already in another commitment. Maybe they stepped out of that commitment to be with you. I'm getting for others of you, this is a very like specific message, but this person had some sort of financial difficulty, a huge financial loss. And I think that woke them up. They could be causing a tower moment in terms of work or family or commitment. Uh, because with the fool, it's like they're taking a huge risk, a leap of faith here into the unknown. They have no idea how it's going to go. Eight of swords, high priestess. Yeah, they're, they have no idea how they're how it's going to go. But this like they're choosing their partner or they're choosing love with the lovers here. Gemini energy. So I find this very fascinating. I feel like this this whole unexpected event is like taking them on a journey and they have hope for success, but they're having a huge like blow up over here. I think they want to tell you about that with the death card. Tell me about death. Tell me about death. Queen of Wands. Tell me about death. Spirit, tell me more about this death card. Page of Cups. Yeah. It's almost like they're going to tell you what they want now. You know, what they desire. Maybe even apologize here. Can I get one more for death? Because this is a conversation they want to have with you. Queen of Cups. Ace of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they want a new beginning. Um, Ace of Wands came out again for the Death card. And it's based on love with the Queen of Cups. I feel like they, they've kind of... um, See, with Four of Pentacles, it's like... It's like they want to offer you the Ace of Pentacles, but they really can't. Not really. It's like a promise. I also feel like this person has kind of held on to this idea of being with you, despite the fact that I feel it's going to bring a, a lot of drama in their life or they went through a lot of drama here. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, leaving me a comment. They're all free ways that you can support the channel and it helps me out a lot. It basically just tells YouTube that you care about my channel and that you want to continue watching um, and they kind of show my videos to more people. So it's a great way of growing the channel um, for free. So thank you to everyone that does that, that takes the time out of their day to like, subscribe and leave me kind comments.